everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a school day for me and the kids. I had Kyle and Paige today, and they did their, their distant learning. On Wednesdays, the school cleans, I guess, all the classrooms. They clean every day, but today is the big cleaning, so the kids have to stay home. And because they stay home, they come to my house and they do their schoolwork. Keeping them on task is important. And sometimes they can get off task really easy. It doesn't take much for them to get off task. Well, today when um, Kyle was doing his work, he went on to his little exercise program. And so we all did this running thing where you, you stay in place and you run, run, run past. And it shows a bunch of animals as you're running past them. And I did it with them, and I said, you know, Kyle, your arms should be moving. He had his arms like he was like in, ready to fight in front. And I said, you know, when you run, your arms actually go back and forth. So we did it again, and this time he had his arms go back and forth. Then we did another one with Paige. She put one on, and it was, it was um, something about, it was like the two, the tootie tot. I don't know if you know the tootie tot, tootie tot, tootie tot, tootie tot, ta, where it says thumbs up, elbows back, knees apart, or feet apart, knees together. That one, but they set it to um, some kind of animal instead of a tootie tot, a tootie tot, a tootie tot, ta. And theirs was just a tiny bit different. And I said, you know, mine was to say eyes shut and then turn around. And it was really funny. We used to laugh because the adults used to do this with the kids. And the kids used to get a big kick out of it because they'd be peeking at us doing it. And we'd be doing the real tootie tot. Well, I'm going to put a little video in. I had a request to show the, sam the egg on bread. So I'm going to put that in right here. Kyle's here and he would like an egg on bread. So I'm going to make an egg on bread. I usually give Kyle at least two eggs. There's one egg. Let me wash this other one off. Two eggs. Okay. Then I salt, put salt on the egg. And I scramble it. Because we have bacon grease, I put bacon grease in the frying pan. Then I just pour the eggs into the frying pan. And before it gets cooked, I take the bread. And I put it in and flip it over. Okay. Put it in and flip it over. Then I, I try to tuck whatever egg is out, I try to tuck it underneath. Then I just let it cook. Turn the heat up a little bit and just let it cook. And when it's when I think it's cooked enough on the one side, I flip it over. I gotta look to see. Probably looks good enough. So I'll just flip it over. And Kyle likes the egg side, the one with the most egg side. He likes that side up. So that's how it will go on the dish. Looking good. But so this is considered egg on bread. 
It's sort of like French toast. It's just it doesn't have any van vanilla in it. It doesn't have any milk in it. It doesn't have any sugar in it or sugar powder on it or however people like it. I like mine with nothing. I don't want the vanilla. I don't want the sugar. I don't want the sweetness. I don't like syrup on anything. So this is perfect. Thank you, Paige, for holding the camera for me. And this is what the bottom looks like. Turn the pan off for a second. And the bottom looks like this. It's so good. And if I want, I can flip it back over and make the other side browner, but I think we're good. This is what his egg looks like in the dish. Now we'll cut it. Okay, Kyle, sit down and have a taste. Does it taste good? I can't hear your head. Yes. Yes. Do you like eggs and on bread? Yes. Is this your favorite meal? Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. How many eggs do you usually eat when you're here? Two. No, two at this meal, but well, you had two before. And sometimes you would have had, if lunch wasn't the pasta, you would have had two more at least. Whoops. Better cut that a little more. Okay, well, you finish up, okay? Okay. All right. I can hear you too. Are you going to have the potatoes? And Paige is going to have potatoes. Today, Kyle had two eggs twice. He had it. He, when he came in, he wanted the breakfast, which you saw. And then he normally would have had egg on bread again because he likes the egg on the bread. But his sister wanted uh, macaroni with Alfredo sauce, so that's what they had. They had macaroni with Alfredo sauce. And then about 3 o'clock, he says that he was hungry and he wanted another egg on toast on the bread. So I made another egg on the bread. So normally he would have had at least six eggs today. Sometimes he has nine depending on how hungry he is. But today he only had four eggs. So it helped me get some of my eggs gone. When the kids are with me, my eggs go down. I went out and I gathered eggs and I got seven eggs today. And of course, Silver, I don't know what's with her, but she's not, she's not broody, but she likes to sit in the nest and every time I lift her, she's got two or three eggs underneath her. But she's pretty nice. I only had to go under her twice to get the eggs out today instead of five times. The other day I had I had to keep going back because there was more eggs under her than than one it would have expected. I think that was the day I got 17 eggs. It was pretty nice out today. The sun was shining. So I opened the chicken door. And the chickens, I, I brought out a little something for them to eat and I put it outside the door so I'd get them to come out because there is an area where there is no snow. They won't walk in the snow. They don't like the snow but I left the chicken door open for quite a while and then I had to shut it. And every morning there is a rabbit that has gone through my chicken area because I have the door opened and I see the, the footprints and they go in one way and out another way so I wish I could catch that little bunny and see it when it's going through. When I first, when we first moved here, there was a lot of rabbits on the hill. They would be dancing in the snow, and it was really fun to see them. But since the people live up above us now, we don't see the rabbits. They probably dance a lot farther on the hill. They're not down here with us anymore. Well, that is the video for today. I hope you all had a great day, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.